All right, simplifying expressions, it's all well and good, but understand what we were doing. We were just simplifying an expression. Now we want to look at what is an equation. And an equation is a math sentence. It has an equal sign already built into it. Okay, And that equal sign will act as the verb of your sentence. So from a grammatical perspective, your equation is a sentence, and the equal sign is your verb that connects your subject and your predicate. Now, just like with sentences that we say most of the time, they can be true or false. So if I say 7 plus 5 equals 12, you would say what? True. Oh, yeah, most of that. That is totally true. I believe that 7 plus 5 is 12. But the symbols that I'm using here, this is a true statement. The 7 plus 5 equals 12. If I say 8 minus 3 equals 6. False. Right? Or do you need to check on your fingers just to make sure? <laughs> you have eight fingers, you lose three in a shop accident, you don't have six, you have five, right? So this is a false statement. Now what if I were to say this? X plus 4 equals 9. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, seriously, I wrote it right here, x plus 4. So how do you not know if it's true or false? You, know what x is. you don't know what x is because x is a variable. variable. Since x is a variable, it could represent anything, right? So right now, I don't know if this guy is true or false. Here's what I do know. I know that x plus 4 equals 9 is true when what? It's true when x equals 5, right? Do y'all believe that? If I let x equal 5, if I replace x with 5, I get a true statement because 5 plus 4 is 9. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. So, this, this is what it means to solve. We're not talking about solving something. We're going to solve an equation. To solve means to find a replacement of the variable. <coughs> to solve means to find a replacement of the variable that makes the original equation true. Solve means to find a replacement of the variable that makes the original equation true. And this is called the solution. Whoops. Excuse me. And this is called the solution. Okay. So in this last example, We said that x plus 4 equals 9, and if I replace the x with 5, I come up with a true statement that 9 equals 9, right? So what that tells me is that x equals 5 is the solution to this particular equation. Now, will every equation that we come across be this easy where I can just look at it and say what the answer is? Mm -hmm. No. So we develop properties to help us solve equations.